guys! Welcome back to Let's Play Sly 2, episode 50! I told you guys you'd reach it! Uh, is, is it me? Does this music remind me a little bit of, uh, the menu song of Shadows of the Empire? That Star Wars game on the Nintendo 64? Like, uh, go look that up. Go listen to that. It does sound like a little bit like this song here. Um, I actually love that game. I want to Let's Play that sometime. I want to Let's Play a lot of Star Wars games. If you guys don't know, I'm actually a really big Star Wars fan. And, uh... Oh, great. Enemies, you know. I played a lot of Star Wars games, and, uh, I was a really big fan of them. They're really fun. And, uh, one of my favorites was Shadows of the Empire. I mean, I like them all. Rogue Squadron was really good. Uh, Lego Star Wars, obviously. Force Unleashed. I played, uh, I barely touched, I barely scraped the edge of, uh, um, Knights of the Old Republic or whatever. Uh, I've played, uh, what's the other one I played? I shit, I played, uh, I haven't, I, I own Republic Commando, but I haven't played through it yet, and I'm, I'm a big fan of Battlefront, too, that's another one, I'm, I'm really excited about Battlefront 3. I, I heard they're making Battlefront 3 at long last, I'm like, oh, finally, Star Wars Battlefront 3, what took you so long? And it's EA doing it, which is kind of a downfall, but, hey, I waited a long time for this, I waited for this one like I waited for Sly 4, so, Battlefront 3, really excited, I'm glad they're finally doing it. I saw this thing on uh, Meme Base. That I agree with it. It's like, everyone out here is excited about Star Wars Battlefront 3, and I'm sitting here waiting for a Republic Commando remake, or Republic Commando 2. <laughs> I agree, those are both really good games, though. I mean, the Lego Star Wars is one that's really underrated. I, I need to let's play that one. I need to let's play a lot of Star Wars games. I mean, I, I need to get a lot of Star Wars on my channel, because I'm a really bad one. What? Did I just get shocked from doing that, by the way? <laughs> what the fridge? What? What was that? But anyways, yeah. I'm a big fan of Star Wars games, though. I mean, I, I've played a lot of Star Wars games and stuff. I'm just a really big fan of Star Wars in general. But the games are just really good. I played Star Wars Episode 3, the game. That was really good, too. That was a really fun one. Uh, it's one of the only good movie games out there. Oh, that was a really good game. Is actually, uh... oh my god, I play a lot of Star Wars games. I just need to think of all the good ones I've played. The list goes on. Okay, time to go out and do Murray's mission. Another really fun one is, uh... you know what? I probably should have thought of another really fun one before I said that. <laughs> I probably should have thought of another really good Star Wars game. Well, I've actually played uh, Star Wars Trilogy on Game Boy Advance, and that was a really good game. I remember that one. That was fun. I need to play that one again. I love Star Wars Trilogy. That was a really good game. And I don't know why it was only on Game Boy Advance. Uh, I mean, it was the first... The, the last three for you noobs. But anyways, it was the first three Star Wars movies on Game Boy and I don't know why they didn't make other movie, other guns. It's like, Episodes 1, 2, and 3 all had games of their own. And that's why Star Wars Trilogy got a game. is because 4, 5, and 6 never had their own official games. So they just made one game that covered all of them. And they only put it on Game Boy. I guess it wasn't a very big success. But, I mean, it's a really good game, though. It's, for Game Boy standards, it's a really good side-scroller. With your favorite Star Wars characters, I guess you could say. But, I'll have to play that in the future, too, if you guys really want me to. I will, I will. I'll do a lot of Star Wars games with my channel. Hell, they're all really good. All really well done games. So let's go up here. Murray, it looks like I'm gonna need some help getting into that engine room. Happy to help. Bentley tells me that the door to that room is locked down by wall-mounted power stations located throughout this blip. I'll need you to take out all the power stations and then pry open the door by hand. No sweat, oh, I got one mission in Dimitri's world over again. I got quite a few to look for, though. So, oh shit! Oh. That world, the one in Dimitri's world, anyways. Uh, where we had to blow up those things. If you guys remember that? Can I like grab this? I can. That's weird. Where are they? I can't see a thing with this guy on my face. Fall off the edge. 
That's one way to get rid of a guard. Um, let's try using these explosive barrels. That might help. Yeah, that will be a good weapon to use. You serious? Probably really strong. That's probably the deal here is. We got these eggs too, and I don't seem to be attracting any guards. That's cool. Whoops. Yeah, there we are. Let's just find some more. This is a really nice mission right here. It's pretty basic. Pretty basic. No, it's a pretty basic mission. No, I'm serious. I like it. Uh, if I remember correctly, Sly's got one of the hardest uh, rooms to do, too. So. Well, that works. Where's that next uh, alarm at? Um, next alarm is up here, it seems. It would seem that the next alarm I will grab is up here. I will grab this alarm, and I will regret nothing! <laughs> so let's grab this guy. So you got this guard in your hands. You ain't know what you're gonna do with him. So you just throw him at this alarm, and that's good enough. I think you actually throw him twice, but let's try. Nope. It kills him. Oh, health, good. That's what I need. Health is an item that is not very common in this world. I'm just going to say that right now, so be careful. I'm going to grab this barrel and use this in the first one. Oh, God, his guard. <laughs> Throw a barrel at him! Throw a blanket over it! <laughs> well, was that not enough? Okay. I'm going to kill you, then. I'm just going to throw a chair at it, then. Throw a chair at it. That's good. That's what I'll always do. I'll always remember, if you need to destroy something, throw a chair at it. There we are. Don't lose that health, Murray. We need that. Don't lose that health. Let's not get hit here. If I get hit with this one, that would be the worst. Because this will blow up when I get hit. Let's get rid of this guard here. There we are. At least they give you guards to use. Some games don't even do that. Where's the last ones? Oh, there you are. Okay, that's easy. I can get up there. Let's use the uh, turnbuckle launch. Can't do it right there. Doesn't work. Oh shit! That is actually a really funny animation. I've never seen that before. I've never fallen off an edge as Murray, believe it or not. Oh, I didn't lose any progress. It seems okay. Don't question my don't question my intelligence. Don't you dare question my intelligence. Oh, health, great. You know that item I couldn't get when I was low on it. Also, those things you see, those clockwork eggs you saw in that one room, by the way. I just thought of that. <laughs> Doesn't matter, you ain't gonna look at me. As long as you keep running, they won't look at ya. You'll only be scared if you really don't even want to alert them, but... There we are. That works. We did it. Where is Sly at? He's up there. Okay. Okay. Well, you know, this game's almost over. I'm really excited to finish it, but I don't know what I'm going to play after this. I have plenty of time to think. I got a whole summer to think, probably, but I, mean, I got like most of the summer to think. So, I'm, I, I, got, I, got, I got time in my hands, guys. I, I got time for that, but... 
I don't know. I'm just, uh, I'm not ready to finish this. I'm, I'm enjoying this too much. Come on, constipation jump. Why aren't you working on me right now? Fuck. Shit. Bananas. Bananarama. Where's that from? Bananarama is from Marvel vs. Capcom. When you play as Deadpool, that is where it is from. Deadpool is like my favorite Marvel. It's a lot of people's favorite Marvel characters because he's so funny, but. I don't know. There's not enough funny characters anymore. Everything's so serious nowadays. It's just like, uh, be like Deadpool. This is why people like Deadpool. Deadpool's funny. Why can't everybody do that? Actually, I think Deadpool's getting a movie soon. So that's pretty cool. And with every movie comes a game. With every movie comes a game. Usually a crappy game, but it's a game. And Marvel did do Spider-Man 2. So that was, that was a really good game. I should probably let's play that sometime. That's a really fun one. I have it still. I actually have it for multiple systems, believe it or not. I actually have it for Xbox and GameCube, because I bought like a GameCube one time, like an extra GameCube with a bunch of games that came with it, and I got doubles of a bunch of games. I already have on other systems. I actually have a double. I also have the same with Fantastic Four. I have for PS2 and GameCube, because so I bought it as a kid, and I was like, oh, I got a cheap copy. Well, why not? I got a double. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, I have no idea when the next flea market is. I should probably go in one. I haven't been one of them in a long time. That's why that's what I usually do my uh my game shopping is like those like thrift shops and all that shit. That's why that's how I that's how a good collector does his things. He goes to the cheapest places he can. Well this is pretty simple. I don't see what the deal is. I don't know why I said this is the hardest one. This is just walking around really stinking slow. I feel like James Bond with all these like lasers and shit. Like one of them really good spy movies. Oh god. I, I avoided that somehow. Okay. Well, I'm dead. Do I have to, like, climb back up there again? I really don't want to. Oh, thank God. This game loves me. I would have fallen to my death had I not done that. Nice game. Nice one. You saved my ass! Jesus, Grandma. It's taking some time. I also notice how one sounds different than the other. And this is where the vault is. Oh, it's better be right. It'd be cool if this one was wrong. The shadow power. Cool. Look at our progress. 94%. That's a nice number to see. So this one's a little nice one here. What it does, you hold down R2. Invisible. To all guards. Just like in Sly 1. Except you don't get it naturally. And it's not forever lasting. Sly 1, you get it, and it's the most overpowered thing in the game. We can also just walk right back down now. It's turned off. Whole room. Uh, there we are. That's it. That's another mission complete. One more, and we'll be ready for the final heist of the game. And then in the process, the final mission of the game. That is the final mission, the heist. The heist will be the final mission. That'll be the end of the game. That'll be the last straw. Actually, it'll be the, th the 35th straw. Because straws come in packs of 36 or something. I don't know. They don't, by the way. I don't know what they come in. I hope you're carrying some heavy explosives, Bentley. Because that engine isn't small. 
It just so happens that there's a ready supply of explosives already available on the blimp. Lock one of these TMT barrels up to that engine room to destroy it. Sounds easy enough. What's the catch? The initial payload in that TMT barrel won't be powerful enough to do the job. If you pick up three magnetic chargers, you should achieve the necessary blast force to destroy the engine. It's simple, really. Just get close to the chargers, and they'll automatically attach to your barrel. All right. Let's blow stuff up. Don't mess this one up. This is not an easy. This is an easy mission to mess up. You can't get caught. Remember how you can stay still to avoid guards. They won't see ya. They won't think twice about a TNT barrel just sitting there in the middle of nothing. They easily explode, you know. That's nothing. It's just a TNT barrel that could explode at any minute now. If you walk back and it's gone, yeah, no one cares. Also, watch out for those lights, those little light bulbs. They will um, explode when you step on them, and they will trigger guards to come to your direction. We got one. There's two more. Oh my god, do they have to be across the plane? I sound like an old lady. Is there a guard coming? He's far away, okay. Because if the guard gets to you, and also you can't jump, so uh, you gotta find your way around the blimp without jumping. So from there, we wanna get to there, which requires us to get to there or there. Oh. Oh, oh. I didn't know it was that serious. I didn't know it was that serious, Sly. You can still fall, by the way. I don't think you're not allowed to fall on the ground. You just can't jump. The gravity doesn't hurt you ever in this game. Gravity is not a fear. It's not a real phobia. Fear of gravity. Is that even a real phobia? That should be a real phobia. I'm pretty sure it is. Like gravity, gravidophobia. I don't know what the what the uh, prefix for gravity is. Gravy phobia. Ornithophobia. Ornimo. Ornit. Ornit. Or is it ornit? Ornitophobia. Ornithophobia. I don't know. Bird fear. That's what this level triggers. Not that I, I don't have one. I'm, I'm perfectly fine with board bird birds. I, I'm actually really, I'm actually really fond of them. I actually would love to have one, but you know how it is. They're expensive. They're expensive as fuck. <laughs> That's what it is. That's the deal here. They cost millions, and if you get the right kind, they'll last too long. Like it won't die. <laughs> it's like a freaking parrot. Okay, this thing will not die. Fun fact, they actually live longer than you will. They'll actually, like, you'll have, like, when you die, like, if you get, like, stickers like that, you're gonna have to give it to one of your friends. Because it will actually outlive you. Because they live to be, like, well, that was gay. They live to be, like, a couple hundred years old, I think. Not a couple hundred years. Like, a hundred something years old. Excuse me, couple hundred? But, yeah, they'll live, like, two generations of people. And you need to, like, carefully, I don't know. That's, that's why, probably why I will never get one. Even though I'm at a stage now, I probably could get one and probably live as long as it does, but... <laughs> and most likely, I'd probably kill it before it, it lives its full life. Although, knowing me, I'd probably, like... I, I would probably, like, cherish an animal like that, so I shouldn't say that. I would... It isn't like my hermit crab that I killed the month. You guys remember that? <laughs> what did I name it? Shelly? I killed the thing in, like, a month. It was Sheldon, and then I renamed it to Shelly when I figured out it was a girl. That's what it was. I figured out how to tell how to what what gender a crab is. Don't ask why. I apparently like <laughs> I know a lot about crabs now. Like not the penile kind. I wonder if I can just like pick this up. Like just move this around like that. I wonder if I can still do that. Oh, I guess I get caught that way, so it doesn't really matter. Just the barrel. Nothing to do here. Nothing to see here. <laughs> oh, that barrel seems a little suspicious. Nah, it's probably just a barrel. Bye bye. <laughs> it's probably just a barrel. It doesn't matter. I'll actually climb up there next episode. I'll see you guys then. When I get up there, yeah, see you guys then. <laughs>